Welcome back. Well, even as the debate on politicians sharing all their activities on Twitter continues, uh, here's a different story. We met a girl in Kerala who got help after her MP's tweet on her. The MP? Well, let's see if your guess is correct. We walked the narrow mud path in a slum near Thiruvananthapuram to track that one person out of the one lakh. This 17-year-old bedridden girl, Sri Devi, lost both her legs after a passenger train hit her while she was crossing the tracks on her way home from school. Since then, this room is Sri Devi's world. This cot is where she lives. The class 12 student's mother passed away four years ago. Her labourer father cannot afford surgery or a wheelchair. The MP of the area, Shashi Tharoor, happened to meet Sri Devi on one of his road trips. Like every day, he updated his page on Twitter, mentioning he met Sri Devi. Help poured in, mainly from NRIs who form a big portion of Shashi Tharoor's Twitter audience. But I don't think that Obama or Clinton have had an experience where they could help a poor person through Twitter. So I'm delighted that this, uh, this opportunity came to me Happened in this on way, on my, on, on, my, on my Twitter page. This is the crossing where Sri Devi lost her legs, the second such accident that took place here in less than a year. There is now a representative from the nearby area who's taken up the job of writing on Shashi Tharoor's Twitter page every day, not just demanding a bridge here that will help crossing, but also asking their MP, a high-profile diplomat, to do something about contaminated drinking water and the open drainages in their area. In Tiruvananthapuram, Radhika Ayer, NDTV. Chuba.com.